Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another exciting video. Sugar replacement. Everyone loves sweet stuff, but people are trying to get healthy, people are trying to do the right things and unfortunately some of the people that use artificial sweeteners do actually um, opposite from good to themselves. So, what is the difference between sweeteners? We discuss it in a second, but for now, can I please ask you a huge favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel, like, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos? Um, with that exposure on YouTube will help me to provide more and more of quality content to other people. Let's start with bad stuff. Why? Because we will see why we try running away from sweet, real, what they call uh, natural food. So the cheapest and the sweetest is high fructose corn syrup or what people call fructose. The biggest problem of fructose is it, it does not spike insulin it goes straight to liver and getting metabolized into free fatty acids and triglycerides. It's stored as fat and unfortunately it cannot go too far and it stores all around the liver and suffocates liver. So basically it leads to uh, liver dysfunction and, and, and uh, liver failure, which is pretty bad stuff. Uh, people will die from that thing. And as a, basically when also it metabolizes in the liver, it uh, break down uh, uh, creating uric acid, which is uh, elevates blood pressure. So it's all bad news about high fructose corn syrup. I know that's the name, but it's actually uh, any fructose does that. The second option to sweeten our food is table sugar. Table sugar, everyone knows what it does. Basically, it increases blood sugar levels and it would promote high spike of insulin response and if person consume it not insulin resistant yet they will become more insulin resistant that means our body cannot accept sugars anymore and it requires more and more insulin to uh, remove sugar from the blood and when it's not happening uh, fast enough or, or strong enough a uh, person develops type 2, di type two, type two diabetes Another uh, sweetener that people uh, are using quite often and it's uh, considered to be uh, healthy is honey. Honey is natural, right? It's bees. It has uh, antibacterial properties. Well, true, but not in the modern world. To extract honey in a fast commercial process, honey is heated, heated up. When you heat up honey, it loses all its... Um, little medical properties, uh, not medical, uh, antibiotic properties, and basically what you're left with, it's a pure syrup. So it's not much better than uh, high corn fructose syrup. In addition, we've got fancy uh, approach with called uh, a gap syrup, which is kind of low GI sweetener and, and, and it promoted as, hey, it's low GI, it should not spike insulin as much. Well, um, it's true. And the reason is that because it, it consists of 80% fructose. As again, it goes into liver and it creates more damage than uh, on the insulin spike. So uh, what it leaves us with, artificial sweeteners. They're not actually really artificial. Some of them sugar alcohols, some of them fruit extracts. But the way sweeteners work, it basically they're not getting metabolized by our body. Uh, we feel sweet taste and they're going through the system and not getting um, metabolized. It's almost like, a, I would say, like a fiber, fiber in the carbohydrates. So if we've got fiber, soluble or insoluble fiber, it basically goes through the digestive system without being um, process this is why fiber is so important so um, I would like to touch in two most common artificial sweeteners because the cheapest and mostly used one is saccharine or promoters as sweet and low 
and the other one is uh, Splendor or um, I guess uh, Equal. Um, it's uh, maltodextrin. Both of them not as bad as sugars and reason is that because they won't spike your insulin and they won't go into liver uh, and uh, go through a uh, process of creating fat deposits there. What will happen though is uh, going through the digestive system they proven and research to kill good gut bacteria. When uh, sugar replacement or, or artificial sweetener kill good gut bacteria, it basically it's not impacting you as much as sugars, but still, you know, our immune system comes from a gut. So you would like to not only look after your cholesterol levels, uh, insulin levels and liver health and all that, you also need to look after your uh, gut bacteria. So if you use those two artificial sweeteners, they are working well, but they will um, slowly but surely destroy your gut bacteria. It depends how much you consume. It basically leaves us with three common um, artificial sweeteners, which is, um, I wouldn't say good for you, but they're not creating any side effects at all. There was extensive, extensive, extensive studies done on them and um, they are not proven to cause any damage. So first one is a monk fruit. The another one is erythritol. And the last one is stevia. Uh, and common two ones that you can find in the shop is erythritol. And another one is monk fruit. And the reason is why I don't mention stevia, because I'm filming it in Australia. If you buy stevia in a shop, and I create separate video in that, and you really look at the label, you will see it will be 1% stevia and 90% uh, 99% erythritol. Uh, it's a bit sneaky and I don't like it, uh, but stevia is so expensive in Australia, it's not sold uh, easily in a stevia form. So let's focus on monk fruit and erythritol. So they've got different tastes. So I wouldn't say one is better than another. It depends where you buy from or, or what taste you like. But in a nutshell, monk fruit um, is derived from uh, a fruit extract, which basically, uh, according to research, uh, it's uh, 150 to 250 times um, sweeter than uh, uh, normal table sugar. And what it basically does, it, it creates that sweet taste and um, decrease production on uh, inflammatory responses in the body, especially uh, IL-6, which is uh, interleukin-6, which is one of the most um, prominent uh, inflammatory responses in the body. So that's really good news. Another one is erythritol or uh, it's basically sugar alcohol with zero, zero calories, so, such as uh, monk fruit as well. But you know, it's, it's um, despite of the price, and price is a little bit cheaper, it's actually a good alternative too. And it's my go-to uh, sweetener because it's highly available. It's um, very close to sugar taste. It does not digest, get digested through uh, uh, any of our digestive system. And basically you pass it through your uh, urine when, when it's done. So zero calories, zero, zero harm to good bacteria and very available. So I would recommend that. So what I would like to show you is actually it's a morning, sorry uh, for lights. I'll drink in my morning coffee. And what I've got in my coffee is um, depends on the day, but you know, I tend to uh, use different products. Um, this is the company I use and um, they've got a number of products. They've got erythritol, they've got monk fruit and erythritol uh, combo. And they also got uh, uh, granule, like granules. So I'll put link down below in description. Um, they, like we're in Australia, um, they cheaper to buy on Amazon than if you go to Woolworths or Coles and buy it from a shelf what's promoted as stevia. Uh, it's still 99% erythritol. I will show in a separate video. 
but um, have a look in the end description give those guys a go they're a really good company they're taking care of their customers and by the way we creating i'm not only drinking coffee with that um kids uh sweets and cakes and w whatever you do kids will know any difference it's still sweet but um you do yourself and family a big favor by spending um not that big money on sugar replacement and no one would know and it, it's a huge huge benefit that you should notice as soon as you start consuming it well that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you got any comments if you'd like to know more please uh, uh, comment below and uh, check those guys out they're, they're really good they're taking care of their customers and um, I think uh, the first time I bought they sent me a book of uh, uh, cake recipes and all of that i'm just overwhelmed how much customer support i'm getting from um companies that already said selling the products uh, at the uh, very reasonable price anyhow thank you for watching until next time greg